Hello everybody and welcome! Today I'm going to try out to get to space without any staging of my aircraft or rocket for that instance. So I was trying out the new aerodynamic model and as you can see I got up to about 60 kilometers on a jet alone but I destroyed half of my aircraft in the process due to the aerodynamic stresses on the winglets and also the overheating effects. So I tried again with some added rockets on that little plane and yeah, the effect was more or less the same. Half of the plane blew up, I got almost into orbit, I even got out of the atmosphere, I got to more than 70 kilometers, which is the limit of the atmosphere in Kerbal, Kerbal Space Program. But then I did not manage to get to orbit, so I redesigned my vehicle and I decided to stick with the Rapier engine, which can switch from jet mode to rocket mode. And is, well, honestly in Kerbal Space Program 1.0 it's the only engine that really manages to get a single stage to orbit craft into orbit. And yeah, we already lost the nose cone and the wolf, uh, everything. Still, we got into orbit! Yay! So we made an SSTO. It lost a lot of parts, but it came up into orbit. Going down was, yeah, that was not so successful at all. Maybe I could have managed to put it down on land if I would have been really careful, but yeah. That was not a success and another dead Kerbal on our roster. So I went bigger, I increased the amount of fuel, the amount of engines, the amount of wings, the amount of Kerbals and, well, the amount of everything. And I also adjusted my ascent profile, because I thought if I stay under a certain velocity I should be fine, we still get some heating effects, but it's not that bad, switching around a little bit with the engines. Hmm, one is not firing, yes it is, no it isn't, well, not enough intakes probably, but still I managed to get it up high into the atmosphere to about an apoapsis, which is the highest point of your trajectory, of about 28 to 29 kilometers. Then I switched to the rocket mode of the rapier engines. And things are heating up right now, but still we are holding together and we're heading up into orbit, or at least into a suborbital trajectory. Checking my resources, everything looks fine. Still got a little bit of fuel left, but well, should be enough. Let's, let's see, let's see. As you may have noticed, I've already installed a, a mod, which is Kerbal Engineer. You can see the readouts on the top of the screen. They add some additional flight information, so you don't have to check the map every time. And we're doing our circularization burn, and yes, we are in orbit. This is my first working single stage to orbit vehicle. And it could be used to, for instance, get crew up into orbit to a space station or another spaceship. But yeah, only four Kerbals, or maybe five, if you don't only leave the pilot in the aircraft, or spacecraft rather. Now we're doing a retrograde burn, which gets us back into the atmosphere, and then we're using the atmosphere to continuing uh, to break ourselves, uh, to break our vehicle, and to get down to the surface. So, setting the periaps somewhere about that peninsula east of the Kerbal Space Center should be enough. I'm looking here at the moment for some information for angle of attack, but I could not find it. Angle of attack, of course, the angle that your spaceship enters the airstream. I am heard about something like 30 or 40% should be good to break enough without overheating. 
looking at the overheat inf uh, at the thermal information in the debug menu, which is really useful information that should have been more obvious for, well, not so inclined users. And we're heading right down into the ground. But we still have some fuel left and Jebediah Kerman, pilot extraordinaire, hits the throttle to get that spaceship over the mountains and straight onto the runway. Hopefully. We're still heading up a little bit. Going for a ballistic trajectory or shallow ballistic trajectory so we get close to the runway. And that looks good and we're out of fuel. Yeah. So we're just gliding now. This is now a pure glider. Because we don't have any fuel left. We have our monopropellant, which is for maneuvering only, but that won't help us a lot in this case. So we're trusting on the new improved aerodynamics, which of course have been added in Kerbal Space Program 1.0. Let's see if we can get this baby on the runway. Well, it's a bit of a steep approach but maybe we can do it. <laughs> no, we're overshooting. That does not look that good. I don't want to go into the ocean. Not today. Not today. I've already showered. Oh, and, and, and. Closing in. And yes! That is landed. Hitting the brakes. Please stop. Please stop. Yes. Excellent. That is parked. With a nice view of the beach. Let's head for a swim. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.